Hello and welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Info Guides or NFO Guides, here on YouTube for everybody. And uh, so today, I wanted to go over some of this new stuff I've been buying up. Uh, new for me. Uh, some of you guys out there already have lots of this stuff. That's all right. It's new for me. So we're going to go through some of what I've been buying on Amazon, and you might be wondering. Where am I getting the money for the purchases I've been doing through Amazon for all this, these new pieces and parts I'm getting? If you're interested in that, well, keep watching this video. I will let you know exactly how I managed to uh, acquire the money. And so it's no money out of my pocket, per se. All right, with that said, if you guys like this kind of content, please help me out. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let your friends know about me. Uh, I'm an off and on streamer, but uh, I am building a man cave back here. And part of that is going to be a dedicated streaming room. And so that will definitely help me uh, in the long run. So please, like and subscribe below. And now I'm going to flip this camera around, and we're going to check out this stuff I've been picking up from well, most of it's from Amazon. Okay, hold all right. on. First of all, we have this Zotac computer here. Now this here, I'm turning into a workbench PC. So it's one of those all-in-one mini PCs. And now I had the Zotac PC sitting in a box for quite a while. Uh, I've got three of them all together. And this is the last one that I hadn't put to use. It's been sitting in a box for like a year and a half. And uh, so I'm going to turn this into a crypto mining kind of workbench uh, PC, basically for Hive OS or looking at wallets and accounts and all that kind of stuff, uh, kind of in my future man cave workbench area. But I did have to purchase 16 gig of memory and a ssd hard drive for this so uh 16 gig of memory is the max it can go but i installed it with windows 11 uh runs just fine and so that's what this is it's a little computer you'll see it later probably quite often okay so now let's pan out to the other stuff i've picked up i picked up uh for the crypto mining rig my old guy that's gonna have Upgraded to uh, future 19 video cards and all that. I picked up a box of five case or yeah case fans. They're nothing special. They're not the greatest. I don't need the greatest right now. Um, I just needed to get some new ones in house because uh, I don't have any spares. And this rig over here, maybe you can hear a little clicking noise. It's that bottom right fan case fan. And so that was the real reason I picked that up. For the future 19 rig, I picked up one of these hubs so I can uh, plug in as many case fans as I need uh, in, in one area. Uh, again, I might need another one of those, but I just picked that up for now. Now, also for this rig, the cables I had from long ago, they're a little bit too short. So we decided we're gonna go ahead Specifically, let me point out, see that power cable? It barely reaches the, the one video card there. And uh, yeah, we just need better uh, length on these cables. When I originally bought all those, uh, we had no clue what we were doing. We bought short cables like that, but then we were also putting extensions slash splitter extensions on those. So anyway, because of that, I bought some better quality uh, splitters. I also bought some extensions, which are not here yet, or sorry, just longer six pin to six plus two pin uh, cables. I got a bundle of 12 of them coming, but they're not here yet. So once I get that, I'm gonna clean the wiring up on this guy a little bit so the power supply can uh, have more room to move. Okay. Now for the fun stuff. Okay. I picked up two Ryzen 9 5950 CPUs for 
CPU mining. So I picked up two of these AMD Ryzen 9 5950X uh, 16 core CPUs and motherboards to go with it. So I picked up two of these motherboards and I picked up, of course, I've been watching a lot of people talk about the Assassin uh, coolers. So I picked up two of those. And of course, uh, what is it? 32 gig of memory for each one of these and the little NVMe cheapy uh, SSD hard drives. Um, oh, and then I picked up this uh, external USB SSD uh, adapter so that way I can uh, flash those drives with Hive OS. Wrong way. Okay. So there we go. This is what I've been picking up. This is what I've been buying. Now you might be curious, how am I affording this? Well, I've been in the crypto space for some while. I tried mining for a while, got out of mining, and I moved all my assets into a crypto mine. Uh, let me rephrase this a crypto based nft based web3 game called splinterlands and during my time in splinterlands i put more uh fiat slash dry powder into splinterlands it's a trading card game digital where you can win and earn from the game i happened to catch it at a great time my my assets in that game became worth quite a bit and fast forward to today the game isn't what it used to be and i decided it was time for me to get out of the game splinterlands and uh move my financial assets into some crypto mining hardware as well as pay for building out the rest of my man cave over here so it's going to pay for drywall um and all that kind of stuff yet but i wanted to get some hardware so that way I could go ahead and get a little bit more crypto mining going and diversify. So obviously I've got that rig. I've got this rig here, which, you know, over time I'll pick up some video cards here and there. Uh, I'm not looking at trying to make 19 video cards that all match. Now I would love to, but I don't have that kind of money unless somebody wants to donate me some video cards. Uh, but we decided we're going to jump over here and start kicking the tires on some CPU mining. And that is what we're going to do. So right now, um, part of this video, I'm just going to set up this little Zotac box back there and move this stuff off this table just so I have space. And I'm going to flash these two drives with some Hive OS. Um, you guys have seen a lot of that stuff, so I'm not going to waste your time with that, but uh, I'm going to do that and uh, I can assemble these. Well, I'll, I at least assemble these so you guys can see them, but I'm not going to be turning them on right now. Uh, I need to watch some more videos on what I should be mining with them. My current plan is to do a couple more video watching on, uh, I forget your guys' name and I feel terrible. Uh, mining qubit on these processors. So if you guys know what I should be setting and doing for these Ryzen 5950X processors to mine qubit, let me know, hook me up. With, and if you use this typical motherboard also, let me know what settings I might need to throw down. So. There you have it. This is what we're up to. What do you guys think? Do you, uh, do you like this stuff? Of course you like this stuff. Bigger question, what do you think about me diversifying between some GPUs and now getting some CPUs? And I have, in the future here, three old cell phones, they're Samsungs. So this is, I think they're Samsung, I don't know, 18, 19, 20s, something like that. Um, anyway, I've got three cell phones there that I'll also be doing some cell phone mining with. I don't care if they really make a lot or not. They're just sitting in a drawer, and so I'm going...
check it out. Here's the two brand new uh, CPU miners that I set up. Again, they are AMD Ryzen 9 5950s. Uh, sorry about the noise. Apparently that car needs to have a loud muffler. So anyway, I went through, I flashed the, uh, the drives with Hive OS. I've got them both running off a 1650 power supply, both plugged into the network. I just turned them on for the first time. And so let's go ahead and come over to Hive OS and we will see that we've got life in our two brand new CPU miners. I still have to set up the flight sheets and all that. I'll do that off video. I just wanted to wrap this video up for everybody. Uh, we got those going. And again, I already went through the motherboard BIOS, set them to some settings I saw on the internet. Hopefully I got some decent settings to start with at least. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure out more over time. Uh, let's see, I, in order to get everything plugged in, I ran out of network cable connector. So I had to push that one really close to the end. I had to move this guy down. And then I've got my old rig, so uh, this one here, I'm having a problem with this uh, 19 GPU motherboard. I don't think it's the motherboard. I think it's me. I'm having a problem with my power color. Um, where's the... Uh, let's see. 5600 XT. I'm having a problem with it. It comes up in Hive OS, but it recognizes it as... Uh, another 5700 XT, not 5600. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is my wonderful Hive OS setup. Let me refresh this. These are the two new rigs right here. So we've got, uh, these are the two CPU mining rigs. Again, just powered them up, but we can see both of them here, so that's good. Uh, if we look over here at my future beast, this is this old guy right here. This power color card is an uh, 5600 RX or XT, whatever. And when I plugged it in, it showed up as a 5700. And so nothing would hash, no overclocks or anything. So if anybody has a suggestion on what I could possibly do to get that to work better, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear uh, possibly how to troubleshoot that. If not, just leave a comment and let me know. Uh, yep, I'm SOL. I know the card works because I just used that video card solo for the two CPU miners down there uh, to do the motherboard BIOS. So... Uh, that's one of the problems I'm having. You can see here, these three cards in my old rig are hashing just fine. Um, so those are hashing. Right now, I just got it on iron. Um, I'm mining iron. Uh, yeah, I know it's not that popular by itself. But really, I'm trying to work on the man cave. And as you can see here, I picked up all the drywall for it. Uh, so yeah, that, that room back there um, has been my main focus and not really tweaking all this stuff out yet. Um, I've got more equipment than I have man cave space for right now. So again, that's uh, the Future Beast is my old one, or my old cards on a semi-new motherboard. The AMD 6700, that's the eight card rig right there. It's doing just fine. Again, I'm on iron solo. It's not the best. I realize that. But at 70 watts a card, um, I'll take it. It is what it is for now until I have time to actually set all this up and, and look in dual mining and you know all that fun stuff. Uh, 
And so then we've got the two new rigs here, CPU rig one and CPU rig two, doing nothing. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Again, guys, if you like this type of content, help me out. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave some feedback down below. Much appreciated. Any comments, suggestions, anything. I I'm open ears. Uh, again, my history with crypto mining is I started crypto mining probably about four years ago. I quit about two years ago, and I'm just starting back up. So that's my history. So I do know, know a little bit about all this fun stuff, but I'm doing a lot more now than I was. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Until next time, I'm your host, Info Guides or NFO Guides. Catch you guys later. Oh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Working here with the, the CPU build. Let's see if I can get the angle somewhat right. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Anyhow, thanks for hanging out with me. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, yeah, I'm just an everyday guy. And I'm your host, NFO Guides or Info Guides. I appreciate it. If you leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, suggestions, comments, feedback, anything, everything. I much appreciate it. You guys take care. And until the next time, peace.